Bad news, Chris is not here today. Good news, I'm here today. My name is Olga and this is Front and News. Yay, <laughs> guys, you probably may know Olga from the uh, experts talks. I believe yes. Uh, she's our specialist from marketing standpoint and she's really, really great at what she's doing. So let's uh, say hi and uh, let's do a warm welcome for Olga. So yay, Olga, welcome in the Front and Thank News. Thank you. Thank you. How do you feel? How do you feel? Is it I'm, good uh, on the next uh, on the opposite side of the camera? It's great. Okay. It's great. Good start of the week. Great. So, uh, how was your weekend? What were you doing at uh, at weekend? My weekend was very energized because I watched Harry Potter all the weekend. Wow. So, do you know any spells, magic spells that help us, you know, maybe to change the weather to uh, put sun on the sky because now it's like only gray outside? No, I can't change the weather, but I can present the agenda today. Yeah, so let's move to the agenda. <laughs> really, uh, really nice uh, move, Olga. Cool. So uh, what's uh, the first news in our agenda today? The first is Remix. Great. Uh, the second one will be about uh, Versal founding. The third one is Preta release. And the fourth one is about React Redux V8. And this is still the beta release, but let's check what's in. But first, let's watch intro. What's first news? Um, the first news is about Remix, and the most important fact is that uh, Remix went to open source, like we can use this tool, this framework without uh, any payments. Uh, in the past, it was like sponsorware's framework tool, and now it's open for the public. So that's great news. And uh, Remix is a, a full stack web uh, framework that lets you create a very fast, um, very performant web applications uh, that have the user interface and user experience in mind. The main reason why would you like to use Remix is the fact that uh, thanks to uh, to this framework, you can eliminate almost all the, the all loading states in our website. So instead of uh, seeing the spinners, loading states uh, with the description that just please wait, we are fetching data, blah, 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 uh, you will receive the fully rendered document. It's almost like Next.js or Gatsby, the same mechanism, I would say. For me as a marketing person, SEO optimization is uh, really important and mm -hmm. I wanted to ask how it works in uh, in this system. Yeah, so this is a great question actually. So in terms of SEO, there is a lot of problems with uh, SPA applications. If you are not using any kind of server-side rendering or server-side generation, server-static side generation, I would say, it's really hard to work well with the CEO. And in fact, Remix deliver the fully rendered document to the user. So the CEO is at a really great level of uh, usability and it's really easy for you to hook in and uh, to work on CEO and deliver really well positioned uh, websites, applications and cool. work with the CEO as you want to. Cool. That's it for the first news. Yeah, I think yeah, that's uh, that's it, guys. So if you are interested, in, just check the Remix website and link are as always in the description. description. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. We can move to the second one, which is about personal funding. Yeah. So we were gonna speak about money, <laughs> and we love to speak about money. So the news is that the Versal team announced that they received over one hundred and fifty million dollars oh, in Series God. D funding. <laughs> Yes, and their value is over 2.5 billion of dollars. So the Versal become really huge, enormous software company that has impact on a really great part of the whole web. Yeah, I did find the info uh, how they want to spend their money, and uh, there are a few areas that I want to cover. So at first, they're going to put their money to support open source projects. Versal team want to. Um, 
you know, to cooperate with whole with whole community, to give the tools and possibility to create the open source software and plugins and libraries and frameworks and get them on the on their best levels and as they can be in the web. So in addition of creating and maintaining Next.js, which is like the main the main software for the Versal team. And they also put some um, money in open libraries uh, and, and popular frameworks like uh, Nux.js, Astro, Webpack, Bubble, Next Alf, just to you know support the team and to help them develop these tools and get in the better level. Um, so most recently, I spoke about it in the previous news, Rich. Harris has joined the Versal team and he's the creator of Swelt, which is uh, the really great open source powerful framework to build our uh, web applications. I'm really curious uh, where they will go with uh, with the Swelt in Versal. I'm going to you know keep my eye on it. The second area that they want to invest is to make the web edge first. And last month, the Versal team has released the edge functions that unlocks the ability to run normally complex personalization without performance implication on client side burden. It means that we can have some part of middleware and customize our set of data uh, with edge functions without creating uh, our server, our own server and uh, take care of the whole deployment, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So edge functions can be really, really useful, but still they are in the beta version. Okay, so the third thing is to build end-to-end -end development platforms. So it's not only about Next.js and the framework to work with the code and implementation, but also to deliver the tools and the ecosystem that will handle, you know, the whole process, like from start to the end, to the from uh, the very first implementation to the end of the deployment to deliver it to uh, somewhere in the cloud or somewhere in the internet and deliver it to the users. They expanded their capabilities uh, for the features like preview deployment or Next.js Live to unlock the potential for everyone to join on the development process. So you don't have to be a really great DevOps to be able to take control over the process or at least take a look inside the process and how it looks like. Yeah, uh, uh, some kind of automatization in, in our work. And the fourth area is just to grow the Versal team. So much areas. Yes, so, so much, many areas. So many areas. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course they will put money in more uh, of uh, the areas, but growing team is also very important. That's uh, that's the another place they want to invest. So that's all about the Versal I have prepared today. Thank you, and it means that it is time for the first news. Seriously? Third. No, it's third news. Third news. Oh yeah, let's uh, do, let's uh, not skip the third news. I know you want to hear about React Redux, but yeah, <laughs> but the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but before before that, let's speak about the Prettier release. Yep, exactly. So Prettier gets new release uh, 2.5. The most important fact is that it will support the TypeScript 4.5 and MDX V2 common syntax. And that's the most valuable thing about new Prettier release. I believe you guys using it, this tool to, um, you know, to work on the common style for your projects and don't care about it at all. It will be fixed automatically without your effort. So that's great. I miss something in this news. I think, Did you? I, th I think not. I think not. It's everything. I think so. What about uh, the four? What My favorite fourth news, yep. right? Yep. Your favorite fourth news. I, I know you're waiting. About React Redux. Okay. So we have the new beta version of the React Redux. It's V8. So the most important updates for the React Redux is that the conversion of the code base has been moved to the TypeScript. Finally, finally, you do not have to fetch the types React Redux um, lib inside your project because it will be there. Yes. I was waiting for it because, you know, working... Congratulations. Yes. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, uh, React Redux team. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, Olga, because it was really hard if you were using TypeScript in your projects and include the libraries that were not using TypeScript. So cooperating between those two were pretty hard. You have to fetch extra, um, extra stuff to make it work mm -hmm. and blah, blah, blah. You know, um, a lot of work. Uh, that you can do anything else at the same time. For example, get a mug of coffee and you know spend it with your friends and drink the coffee. Why not? <laughs> this is what the developers do for the most time. Of come on, 
Yeah. Do, <laughs> you do not drink coffee. <laughs> no, marketing team I, works all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I see her all But the time. But developers. Uh, uh, <laughs> you're you're standing all the time in the kitchen and speak with the people <laughs> and say that the kitchen That's is all. Work. <laughs> you're doing videos, you know, doing recording, speak with the people all the time with the coffee, and you tell me that the developers are not working. You know, I don't want to continue this topic because I can offend some. I know, I know, I know, I know. Just kidding, just kidding. Olga and the whole marketing team do a great job. So uh, yeah, developers are lazy. No, I'm lazy. Just okay, just, you guys just are me, cool. Just me. <laughs> cool. So next thing, uh, use of React new use uh, sync external store. And this is the new API for the React 18 um, that has been included in the newest React Redux 2. So removal of unused legacy APIs like uh, Connect Advanced, the pure option for Connect. This is something that has been depreciated and finally removed from the API. Modernization of built artifact compilation. And these four things are like the most important breaking changes inside the React Redux. And if you want to check more, everything in the link the description and that's it for today yes that's it olga and you were awesome i love to do news with you so sorry chris but i think we are going to switch oops <laughs> oops thank you tommy for great preparation today and see you soon yeah see you next time guys thank you olga high thank five you. you can watch other videos on our frontendhouse.com And uh, check our socials, check our YouTube channel, check our previous videos, Expert Zone, Expert Stocks, everything done with you in mind. I hope you will like it and see you soon. Bye. Bye bye, guys. Bye -bye. Thank you.